Hi, my name's Kyle Dyer. I'm the academic lead for education and training on addiction at the Institute of Psychiatry. I'm a psychopharmacologist by training, which means I have a background in both clinical psychology and pharmacology. So what I'm interested in is the effects of drugs on human thoughts and behaviours and emotions. In this lecture, we're going to consider three questions about addiction. What is addiction? How does it develop? And what are the key distinguishing features? Addiction is a challenging condition. It can affect anyone. It develops slowly, often without our awareness. It touches all aspects of our lives and it causes significant harms. Addiction doesn't respect who you are, doesn't respect your background, whether you're rich or poor, privileged, educated, male or female. But addiction happens for a reason. It's functional. It serves a purpose. For some people, it's seeking the experience of a good time. For others, it's the means of escape from physical or emotional pain. The first step towards using a drug or developing an addictive behavior is that it gives us something that we need. It removes our pain, our sadness. It helps us cope or it just helps us relax and enjoy our spare time. The most obvious and fundamental initial experience is that drug use feels good. No matter what the mechanism of action, all drugs share a common feature. And that common feature is that it increases activity in the reward center, or the pleasure center, if you like, of our brain. Drugs of abuse will increase a chemical within our brain called dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter. It's present in regions of the brain that regulate emotion and movement, cognition or thinking, the development of new memories, and most importantly, the feelings of pleasure. So this is known as the dopamine reward pathway of the brain. And this is the pathway that usually becomes activated when we do something that's important for our survival, something like eating, spending time with our children, spending time with our loved ones, and so on. By engaging in these behaviours, we're rewarded with feelings of pleasure and euphoria. We feel good, so we want to do it again. What drugs do, what drugs of abuse do so very well, is that they overstimulate this reward system, and this makes us want to take drugs again and again. Finally, the journey out of addiction is one of great challenge and effort. It can be really difficult to quit an addiction, to just say no, and it often takes several attempts. But at the end of the day, addiction can be treated successfully. It's important to remember here that not everyone who uses a drug will become addicted. One of the key questions for addiction science is to determine what is it that makes some people become addicted and others not. Understanding addiction and developing effective responses is important personally, socially and economically. So let's start with asking ourselves a question. What is addiction? Well, this is both a simple and a very complex question. We've all probably got a gut feeling in a broad sense and understanding what addiction is about, but do those of us who drink lots of coffee and get headaches if we miss our morning cup of coffee consider ourselves coffee addicts? Do we only think of the stereotypes of injecting drug users, the stereotypes of criminals or drug fiends? I don't know. My point here is that before we can answer the question, what is addiction, we need to question our own beliefs and our own stereotypes. Do we see people with addiction as weak, as poor, as sick, as criminal, as lacking in moral strength? A really useful starting point is to look at how we actually make a diagnosis of addiction. 